We live in a very noisy world. And when I say noisy world, we are bombarded with text messages and TV and radio and podcasts and YouTube, all of these things. How do you cut through the noise and how do you develop a marketing strategy that's actually gonna let you win? And not just let you win, but give you a guaranteed success for a win. Well, there's a lot of strategies that I've been taught over the last 14 years, and there's some things I'm gonna teach you today. And all of it starts with Ida. And when I say Ida, this isn't an old lady. This is a model that you can learn that I'm gonna teach you today that stands for awareness, interest, desire, and action, or attention, interest, desire, and action. So we're gonna get into it. Without further ado, let's roll. Hey guys, my name is Adrian Boysell, and I'm so grateful to be here for another video with you. I'm with Adrian Graphics and Marketing, and today I just ask that you could please like and subscribe, hit the bell button, and make sure you drop a comment and say hello and introduce yourself. All right, so there's a lot of information online and on YouTube about marketing. Something caught your attention about my videos. You were made aware of these videos by a friend, through LinkedIn, through Facebook, maybe you're already a mutual friend of mine. Okay, you were made aware. Okay, that's the first step. Then you took an interest. Maybe it was the topic. Maybe it was the, the thumbnail. Maybe it was the title of the video. Then it created a desire and you wanted to watch it. And that desire was strong enough for you actually to click on the thumbnail and click on the video and take the time to watch me today. And so I wanna thank you for that. But the last part is the action. And that's what you're doing right now, as you're taking action. And by doing this, I'm adding value to you by teaching you this AIDA model or IDA. And this model has been around for over a hundred years. And there are a lot of people who have modified the model and made changes to it, uh, including Ariana Grande, if you believe it or not. And it's one of the things that they say is, I like it, I see it, I want it, I did it. I'll say that again. I like it, I see it, I want it, I did it. And that is the whole item model in a nutshell, but in a different variation. There's also something called the cab model, and there's also something called the four P's of marketing with a marketing mix that it is included in that as well, which I'm gonna make for another video. But first I wanna dive deep into awareness, interest, desire, and action. The item model has been around for over a hundred years, like I said, and it's a hierarchical model and a hierarchy of model of effects. And when you actually go through this process and you follow those steps, the effects that happen and when you when you get somebody's interest and when you get them to learn and when you get them to feel and when you get them to experience and then you get them to take action it makes a big difference you're following a process and every single business and every part of a business needs to have a process some of the changes that have happened and some of the rebuttals about the item model always talk about how it goes from the beginning of the customer journey to the end but in all reality nowadays, our goal is to get the highest lifetime value on our customers. And so the end of the journey doesn't just start at the action. There's, there are actions that happen after that. So like, like it says in the, I like it, I see it, I want it, I did it. Well, after the I did it, what happens? That I did it should be shared on social media. That I did it should be shared on Facebook. That idea should be shared on YouTube. That idea that I did it should be shared on every single platform possible, emails, so you can stimulate more referrals and get more business. And then how do you continue to stimulate and nurture that relationship over a period of time? These are all evolutions of the item model that you also wanna take into consider and think about because the item model was developed early on before there were sales funnels and click funnels and all the things that are going on now. So the thing has evolved and there's a lot more to it now than there was before, but I really want to encourage you to use the item model. It's a really great tool to help you grow your business, to help you create, come up with great marketing strategies. So you're not just throwing something at the wall and hoping that it sticks, but you actually know that it's founded in something scientific, emotion, logic, ethics. All of these things are very important triggers that help people react and move and make decisions. So awareness, Awareness has multiple parts to this, and this is something that's very important, is also can stand for attention. Now, awareness and attention, where do you get that attention? You're either getting it from YouTube videos, you're getting it from Facebook, from social media, from print, from radio. If you're a business owner, there are lots of places, even TikTok, where you can get attention or raise awareness. If you have a nonprofit, maybe you don't have a product, but maybe you have a nonprofit. So awareness or attention really works the same way. Now, if you have something that is perfect for awareness, 
Really, Facebook is the best platform for that right now. Facebook and TikTok. There is a ton of viral elements to Facebook and to TikTok that doesn't allow you to spread your message that people don't really know about a lot further. Facebook is demand creation. You're, you're getting awareness and you're creating a demand in the marketplace. Whereas Google and pay-per-click, most pay-per-click websites, it is demand fulfillment. There's people that are already aware of the service like septic or roofing repair, and now they have an interest. So they skip past that first letter and they go directly into interest. But how are you gonna get their attention? How are you gonna get their, their time and get them to click and give you their business? Well, you have to build an interest. So there are a lot of things that motivate people in interest. One of the things that motivates people in interest is price. A lot of people out there are price shoppers, especially in the do-it-yourself DIY world that we live in. A lot of people are looking for price, but the right customers and the ones that I want you to go after are looking for quality. They're looking for reputation. They're looking for a high level of service. And that is not something that you can just cheap discount. You actually have to put your time, you have to put the effort in and you have to not sacrifice that and they say that there's a there's a scenario there's actually another methodology is you can only pick two of these it's either time service or quality and pick two and most people want all three they want the best price they want the cheapest they want they want the cheapest service and the best price they want it to be done the fastest and they want it to be done at the highest quality and that's just not realistic so you need to make sure that where you're at and who you're targeting is correct and that the person that you're in you're, that is interested in your service is actually an accurate and targeted client for you okay then what you have to do is build the desire whether it's build a relationship on an emotional level building the relationship on an ethical level or building the relationship on a logical level everybody thinks differently these are all really important things and i can dive into a whole other video just about that but these are all important things that people look at and and they're make up different personality traits so depending on the type of person you have if you have the customer that's going to buy the Prius they're going to be an ethical type of buyer versus the person that's buying the Tesla they may be also ethical but they're also looking for quality okay it's very important to be able to distinguish the, the difference between those types of customers and be able to segment them Okay, and then the last one you're gonna do with that person is action. Like I said, you playing this video today and taking this time out of your precious time of your day to watch this with me. That is action, you're taking action. You, and that is what you wanna do with your potential customers, your potential clients, potential people that you're gonna work with is you wanna build a, a, a process and a model that is actually going to encourage them to take action. Because you can do all that work and then if you don't have a strong call to action, it was all for nothing. So again, it's awareness, finding the right places where your customers are actually searching. It could be Reddit, it could be YouTube, it could be Facebook, it could be Blogger, it could be Medium. Depends on if you're an early adopter or if you're a late adopter. There's all different types of data points in this. And this is what we basically decipher and bring clarity to our clients with, is helping them understand who is their initial target that we're gonna go after and how do we get their attention and how do we raise awareness for them? Then how do we create a desire? How do we create a desire for a new product or an innovative product or something that's already out there but maybe you have put a different twist on it or maybe you're offering something better, maybe it's a higher quality product. There's a lot of different ways to go about that, okay? Very, very important that you understand awareness, interest, and desire in action. These are critical ways that you can build your business, that you can create great marketing plans and you wanna be able to understand who that target customer is first. If you don't have that nailed down, that's where you start it, and that starts with your branding as well. Your branding and your targeting should go hand in hand together. So just like Apple, they knew exactly who their customers were, they, do, they have a clean, sophisticated look, and they've been doing that since the very beginning. They wanted something simple, that was easy, that was clean, and they've stuck with that since the very beginning. They've never changed it. Even though their brand has evolved in terms of their logos and things like that, they still have the white, clean space, and they, they know exactly who their target customer is. So always remember that, awareness, interest, desire, action. I like it, I see it, I want it, I got it. So I hope that helps you guys. It's a shorter video than normal. I've got a lot going on in my life right now. We have the Meek Mentors. We have the online training academy that I'm building. We have my book that's coming out. I've just got a ton of good stuff. And this is just some of the stuff that I wanna take out of my day because this time with you guys is very important to me. So thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope you have a blessed day. And as always, keep looking up.